Hey everyone, welcome back to Bike Geek. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a VLAN network using a MicroTik router. VLANs, or virtual LANs, are a great way to segment your network, improve security, and manage traffic more effectively. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to refine your networking skills, this tutorial will make it easy for you to get started. Before we jump into the setup, let's quickly cover what VLANs are and why you might want to use them. VLANs allow you to create separate networks within a single physical network. This means you can have one VLAN for your office devices, another for guest Wi-Fi, and perhaps a third for IoT devices. By isolating traffic, you can enhance security, reduce congestion, and better manage your network resources. Now, let's get started with the actual configuration. First, you'll need to access your MicroTik router's interface. With the MicroTik dashboard open, we'll start by creating the VLAN interfaces. I have 16 port MicroTik CC R1036 router board, 14 are LAN Ethernet interface ports, and other four are fiber optic ports. So in this video, we will configure our VLAN network on port number five LAN interface. Go to top and click the plus sign to add a new interface and select VLAN. In the new interface window, give your VLAN a name, something descriptive like accounts office. Enter a VLAN ID, which is a unique identifier for your VLAN. For example, use 220 for accounts office. Select the interface that this VLAN will be associated with. Typically, this is your ethernet port. Click OK to create the VLAN interface. You'll need to repeat these steps if you're creating multiple VLANs with different IDs. Next, we'll assign IP addresses to the VLANs so they can communicate on the network. Go to the IP menu on the left and select addresses. Click the plus sign to add a new address. Enter the IP address for the VLAN. For example, 192.168.100.1 for VLAN 220. Select the VLAN interface you created earlier from the drop-down list. Click OK to assign the IP address. We forget to put network poll. Type slash 24 at the end of IP address field, then click on OK. Next step is we will connect our MicroTik interface with Cisco port. So we will connect LAN 5 interface port with Ethernet cable on Cisco switch, port 1 and we will connect laptop with Cisco port free so we can run the VLAN network connection in laptop. Now we have connected our MicroTik LAN port five with Cisco switch port one. Next step is we will open the Cisco switch and configure its port number one. If you have PuTTY, you can log in to your switch through the application I will use Telnet in MicroTik. If you are using PuTTY, then type your switch IP address and log in into your switch. After logging into your switch, you can check your current switch configuration using this command shconf, short form of show configuration. My switch port one is already configured, so let me default its port so we can configure again with our configuration. Go to configuration mode, type conf t, then type default and type interface port. You want to reset its configuration. Port is in default mode and its setting is reset. Now we will configure our VLAN network on this port. Select the interface port for configuration using this command. Now type this command, switch port mode trunk. When you use this command, your MicroTik port 5 will pass all the VLANs on its interface in Cisco switch. Next step is we will add VLAN ID in Cisco switch so Cisco can communicate with MicroTik VLAN network. I have Cisco ME3400 switch, so there is 12 Ethernet interface and 12 is fiber interface connection. So I have to specify my port, what interface I want to use. So these commands may not work in your Cisco switch, but I have to type it in my switch so it can communicate with Micratic VLAN. Next step is add the VLAN in Cisco switch, which we created on Micratic using these commands.
Port 1 is configured with VLAN. Now we will configure third port for laptop so we can use internet on that port. We have configured our Cisco switch port 3. Now we will save the configuration. Next step is we will check our laptop and see if we get internet connection. We connected our laptop with Cisco port 3 interface. Now we will give static IP address in our laptop so we can run the internet. Go internet setting in your laptop and assign the IP address of your VLAN. Now use your VLAN static IP address, which we created earlier in Microtik addresses section. We have slash 24 pool. We can give 254 clients IP in slash 24 pool. After giving the IP address, make sure you added DNS. You can use Google DNS like I am using 8.8.8.8. .8 if you forget to add DNS, then internet may not work. One thing I forget to add in Micritic, which is I have to add one thing in Firewall, which is called NAT Network Address Translation, so our internet can pass through Micritic to our ISP provider. Follow this last step. Our internet is not working in laptop, so we have to add a masquerade rule in Micritic's firewall, so you can enable internet access for your internal network. Follow these steps. In the Micritic dashboard, go to the IP menu on the left side, then select Firewall. Click on the NAT tab, Network Address Translation. Click the plus button to add a new rule. Set the following parameters in the General tab. Chain, select SRC NAT, Out. Interface, in Source Address, type the VLAN network address of your configuration. Move to the Action tab, Action, select Masquerade, Click OK to save the rule. If everything's working as expected, you've successfully created a VLAN network on your Micritic router. Now internet is working in my laptop. My laptop is using VLAN accounts connection. You've now set up a VLAN network on your Micritic router. This setup will help you manage your network more efficiently and keep things secure. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to ByteGeek for more networking tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment below. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.